Power Studies, Inc., and this is the current Q&A. This month on the current Q&A, we've got Bob Fewer back again to answer some questions for us. Bob, we've got a question. We know that Power Studies, Inc. has performed over 2,500 arc flash studies over the years, but what exactly is involved in an arc flash study? And what is an arc flash study? Well, that's a great question. Uh, I get that a lot, and I think the best way to talk about it is using a flow chart. Let's say you've got an existing facility and you need an arc flash study done. Well, to do an arc flash study, there's two other types of studies you must do before you do the arc flash study. And one is called a short circuit study where we will calculate the short circuit current at each piece of uh, equipment in the electrical distribution system. And then there's a coordination study. And the coordination study, we're going to determine settings for the circuit breakers and protect the devices that protect these pieces of equipment. So before we can either do either one of these studies, we need to go to the site and collect all the existing equipment nameplate data. And that's a very time-consuming, detailed type process, and it takes quite a bit of time to do, and it sometimes is 50 to 60 percent of the cost of doing an arc flash study. And so what we have to do is go to each piece of electrical equipment and we have to read the nameplate data. And we also have to look at the protective uh, devices and get their nameplate data and their protective device settings. And um, we need to know, for instance, the size of the transformers, the impedances. We need to know the conductor sizes, the lengths, the number per phase. All this information needs to be gathered and, and it needs to be in a detailed fashion. Once we have that information, then we input that into our computer program and the computer program will will do a short circuit calculation. It'll figure out what the three phase bolted fault, bolted fault currents are. And this goes into the arc flash module and depending on some other parameters, voltage and type of equipment, it will spit out then what's called the arcing fault current. It's a little it's, arc, it's, it's current that's a little bit less than this three phase uh, current. Once we know what this arcing fault current is in our upstream protective device and its settings, then the coordination module will, will give us the device operating time. And once we know the arcing fault current, the device operating times, these numbers are uh, plugged into the IEEE 1584 equations, and the equations will then calculate the arc flash energy and the arc flash boundary. And those are the two main things that we're looking at when we're doing arc flash studies, and this is what goes on our arc flash labels. It tells the electricians just how much energy is there and uh, what level of energy and what PPE they should be wearing. Oh, that's a lot of information that goes into an arc flash study. Certainly does. Thank you so much for explaining that for us, Bob. That was this month's current Q&A. Stay tuned for next month.